Now, the GDP for the third quarter for October to December will be announced today. A CNBC TV18 poll sees the Q3 GDP growing by 4.7%. To put all of these numbers into perspective, Lata is here with us. Lata, over to you. That's right. It's expected to be 4.7%, the October to uh, December growth. That compares with 5.4% in the same period last year and 6.3% uh, Q2. But uh, the important point is uh, it's better than the 4.4% estimate which the Reserve Bank put out for the October-December quarter. Now, the first question that comes to the mind is, I mean, 4 point something, uh, aren't we at least a 6 to 7% economy? What's this 4.7 all about? Now, actually, 4.7 is strong, stronger than even RBI, as you can point out. The, it's strong because the base last year, you know, last October to December of 2021 was a very strong quarter. We were coming out of Delta, remember? I mean, we had a long period of practically not being able to do anything. So it's an extremely strong base as well, actually, if you look at uh, Q3 of 2020. At that time, also, we were coming out of a lockdown. So two strong quarters a year ago. And on that base, 4.7 should be considered good. If we do 4.7, actually, the real GDP adjusted for inflation would be about 40 lakh crore. And that will mean an almost 5% growth from Q2, which is huge sequential momentum. I mean, imagine if you can run at a sequential momentum like that, uh, you're talking about a 16, 17% annual, annualized growth. So it's a good number, 4.7. Big contributor will be services. Uh, the, there's a big category which we call trade, hotels, transport, communication, broadcasting. That's expected to grow 11 or maybe even 12%. And that's because, again, it's a low base. These are services sectors which suffered terribly uh, the quarter before, that is the year ago in 21 and 20. So it's actually still recovering. Per se, if you compare it from four years ago level, this is still weak. But year on year, it's giving us a big bump up to the GDP. The other uh, positives will be uh, 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 sorry, the services sectors, construction and the utilities, power, gas, uh, electricity, etc. Those will give in some 7 to 8% contribution. What won't work will be manufacturing, likely to be minus 2 or 2.2%. And that's because there's higher commodity prices, uh, raw material prices impact, weak consumption to some extent even internally, you know, rural, even urban discretionary started declining uh, towards December. Uh, of course, export consumption was poor, so manufacturing won't help. Uh, now, finally, um, this is the googly. They're going to revise the base, and they're going to revise three years of bases. They're going to revise 22, 21, and 20. You will get the first revised estimates of FI22, second revised estimates of FI21, and a third and final revision of the FI20 estimates. So if the base changes so completely, what are all our forecasts? I mean, they may go for a complete toss. It will take us a little while to judge whether the number we get is good or bad. All right, uh, Latan, we'll uh, sort of uh, await your comments when the numbers do hit us. Thanks very much.